is our last writing for our journal. We will do one more fun writing next week for summer, but this is our last one that's gonna go in our journal that we have been working on throughout the year. And next week, not today, but next week, we're gonna have some time where you guys can go back to your journals and you can look to see how much writing we have done and how much your writing has improved from the beginning of second grade all the way to the end of second grade, okay? So next week, you'll get to go through your journals. And then also, next week, we'll be putting together our writing memory books and where we wrote each month and we made those posters. For example, the wanted posters in the hallway, those will go in our writing book, memory book. So we'll have two writing things that we'll need to get, go home next week and you'll be able to look at all of them because it's fun to look back. Every year when my kids look back at everything, they're like, oh, I remember doing this. And it's so much fun because it's a great memory, okay? So this is our last one. And this one is on metaphors. So yesterday, we talked about metaphors. Metaphors compare two things that are alike, but they're really not the same. So our metaphor to end second grade is, called, our metaphor that we're going to use is, you are, were a shining star. So right now, I want you to think about a time you were a shining star. Does that mean that you're up a star in the sky shining brightly? No. no. Okay? So this doesn't actually mean you're a star in the sky. This means what? What does this mean, Elias? Say it a little bit louder. Pretty. You were maybe pretty. What else could it mean, Kinsley? Um, like when I'm doing my dance recital. Yeah, when you're doing your dance recital and you're like doing a great job performing. Definitely. Um, Addy. Um, like maybe when one time, if, like if you listen to a song, you might sing or something, and someone might hear you. Definitely. So think of a time you were really, really, really good at something. Okay. And it could be like this year. It could be maybe a couple years ago you did something and you, you were shining. You were awesome and you did a great job. Okay. So I want you to think right now. Hayden, do you have any ideas? Reading. Good. So you could say you were a shining star at reading. Wyatt. Say that a little bit louder. So you're a shining star by helping dad to keep going? Yeah, I would, I would be, um, I would be um, driving the dump cart if he can't go. Okay. All by myself. No okay. Person. All right, perfect. Okay, I'll take the last three, and then we're going to get to the writing part. Brooklyn. I have three. Um, I was a, a good, like, I was good at the writing You have three ideas to choose from. Those are great ideas. Carson, what are you a shining star? At soccer. At soccer. I love that. Addie. I'm only really good at um, jumping in cold water because sometimes... <laughs> oh, my oh, word. That's yes, crazy. I am. That's, that's fun. Crazy. That's it's good. Fun. It's so hot. Okay. Once when we were camping, my friends thought the water was cold. They did, but you didn't think it was. No. no oh, okay. I jumped in there and I'm like... You are shining Why star. are you guys jumping in? It's not even Okay, that. so right now, I want you to write on this first line, I was a, ooh, I don't think I'm going to fit shining. You might fit shining. Nope. Ow. If you don't, you're going to have to go to the next line like Mrs. Murphy. I do. It's not uh, shining. I was a, and then shine is H, or I'm sorry, S-H-I-N-E, drop the E and add I-N-G, which it's above, a shining star. So I was a shining star, and then you probably want to use the word when, and then you got to tell me a time that you did something that was 
that you shine, that you are bright, that you are great, you are awesome. Okay? Now, you need to make sure that your sentence makes sense. Okay? And make sure you have a period at the end. Then, when you get done, I want you to draw a picture of you doing that. So, if Kinsley writes about her at her dance recital, she's a shining star at her dance recital, then she's got to draw a picture of her at her dance recital, shining brightly. And if you want to put stars to make it look cool, like in the sky, even though you guys aren't really a star in the sky, just for your picture, that is totally fine. Okay? Now, once you get your metaphor written, and you've drawn your picture, raise your hand and I'm gonna come and check it. And then I'll come over, if Tyson has his hand up, I'll come over and I'll say, great job, Tyson. You can now cut it out and glue it in. Now, I just noticed one thing on Tyson's. He did a great job of stopping at the black line. You need to stop at the black line because if you don't, you're gonna cut it off, okay? So, write your metaphor, draw your picture to match it. When you're done, raise your hand, and then I will say, yes, it's great. You can cut and glue in. And then once you get that done, you can go to Epic or AR quietly around the room. 